In this video, we will learn how to remove duplicates using Power Query. So we have a movie database to work with and it has four columns, class, rating, lead actor and director name. I'll cover two examples in this video. First, I will show how to get a unique list of classes and then demonstrate how to get a unique list based on the combination of class and rating. So let us take this data into Power Query. The data we have is already in the form of a table. We can send this data to Power Query from data and table and range. Let us call the query of our first report as class, which will return unique list of classes. Removing duplicates is a simple process. We can select a column, right click and select remove duplicates. However, notice the word action and biography. They are coming twice in the list. This is because Power Query is case sensitive. We need to ensure that the word are in the same case before we apply the remove duplicate operation. So let us take a step back. First highlight the column, then go to transform, format and select capitalize each word. By doing this, we can create a distinct list when we remove duplicate. To do so, right click and remove duplicates. Also, we need only a class column. So select the class column, right click and remove other column. And finally, sort the list in ascending order to get it more organized. Let's send the first report to Excel by selecting home, close and load, close and load to table, existing worksheet, and we'll import our data over here. Let us consider another example where we need to find a unique combination of class and rating. To achieve this, some of the earlier steps must be repeated. To do so, we can double click the class query return to the Power Query Editor and duplicate the query. Press F2 to rename it. I'll rename this class underscore rating. Press Enter. To keep the steps up to where everything was removed, right click and delete until end. Press Delete. To get a unique combination of class and rating, ensure that the rating column has the same case. It appears that the case of the column is not consistent. So let us format it by selecting the rating column, go to transform, format and capitalize each word. Everything looks good now. Notice that when we capitalize each word for the rating, Power Query automatically combined it with our class step. Although I created them separately, since I made them right after one another, Power Query combined them into a single step. Let us revisit the last step. First click on class, Press Ctrl and click on Rating, right click and remove duplicates. Additionally, I am going to remove other columns as well by right clicking and remove other columns. Let us sort both columns in ascending order. So I'll select Class, Sort Ascending and Rating, Sort Ascending. So now I have a unique combination of class and rating. Let us send this to Excel, go to Home, Close and Load, Close and Load 2, select Table in existing worksheet and I will paste my data over here. So press OK and now we have combination of class and rating in our Excel. As you can see, removing duplicate is a straightforward process. However, it is important to note that if you want a unique value independent of the case, you need to apply the same format to your values before removing the duplicate. So I hope you have liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.